Okay, hi, second grade scientists, entomologists. Uh, you need your science journal. And remember how I goofed up and in the back, I printed on two sides what should have only been on one side. So um, some of you were concerned about that and I was too. So in the next pickup, which was the last pickup, I made extra copies of some of these pages. So you should have everything that you need. If you don't have it in your journal, because we used the other side, you have it loose in your most recent folder from pickup. Okay, so we are going to talk about the silkworm moth life cycle. The silkworm moth life cycle is here. It says stages in the life cycle. And we're going to do one of those stages pages in our journal. Um, but I wanted to show you on the screen here, the colors. So um, an adult moth lays the egg and then the larvae emerge from the egg and over time, they um, change inside of the cocoon. So you have heard, um, I'm sure you've heard of a chrysalis before, and I'm sure you've heard of a cocoon before. And a cocoon is for moths, and a chrysalis is for butterflies. So the silkworm is actually a moth, and it changes body shape inside of the cocoon. So it undergoes a complete metamorphosis, just like a butterfly, um, but in its, its little special spot that it, where it undergoes all of that big change from a larvae to an adult body um, shape, it happens inside of a cocoon. So on these pictures here, you need to color these to match the pictures up here. All right, so kind of grayish brownish for the caterpillars. The moths, the silkworm moth is white, pretty white. So you maybe could just leave it white. I'm okay with that. Um, the egg sac is white and the eggs are mm, like a light, light, light brown. So we're gonna color that. It goes through a complete metamorphosis, right? Because it totally changes the shape of its body from when it's little to when it's an adult. Okay. Now here are the insects that we were just talking about in morning meeting. These are our painted lady butterflies. So we have the caterpillars right now, right? And we saw those and the caterpillars are a dark, dark color. And they go from an egg to the larva stage. And then they go inside a chrysalis the moths go inside the cocoon, the butterflies go inside the chrysalis, and then they emerge as a butterfly. All right, so I am going to, hmm, I'll leave, I'll pause, and I'll color in mine on the Painted Lady Butterfly one first, okay? And let's have you do that also. So color this in, cut it out, and I'll show you where to put it, and I'll do the same. All right. Okay, I have all of my little pieces here, all painted, <laughs> not painted. I was thinking of painted lady butterfly, all colored in. Okay, and I am going to glue the egg up at the top. I should arrange them first so I know for sure. But I'm happy with my arrangement. So I know they start with the egg or do they start with the adult? Hmm, it's like the chicken and the egg question, which comes first. Okay, so adult egg, early caterpillar stage, later caterpillar stage, chrysalis, and then they change into an adult. Okay, and I'm gonna do my arrows. because that's why it's called a life cycle, right? It's a cycle. It goes from one thing to the next to the next and it just keeps going and going and going. All right, so now I have to color in my silkworm moth um, pieces. 
So I will pop this up there. I'm going to pause it. You can pause it too and color in and cut, and then we'll put this one down. Okay. All right. So now I have my silkworm moth pictures all colored in. And I decided I liked um, leaving the moth white and the egg sac white, but um, everything else was white too on that little thing. So I thought to add some contrast, I used gray around the moth and around the egg sac. So here we go. Let's see. One second, I will be right back. Alrighty, sorry, there was a noise. Okay, so this picture shows the cocoon, but our little shapes do not show the cocoon. Our little shapes show, our little pictures um, show the egg sac, the eggs, and the smaller stages of the caterpillar, the larger stage of the caterpillar, and then it shows the moth. So we're missing kind of a stage, it feels like. It feels like that's important, but we'll put that down there. I think at first I thought that this was the um, the cocoon for the moth, but no, it's the egg case. Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm going to glue those down in a circle, and I'm going to draw the line to show the cycle. So egg sac to eggs to small stage of larva larger stage of larva, adult, to the egg case. Okay, and we are done. Those are the two pages we're doing today for the life cycle. They're both a complete metamorphosis, which is pretty cool. Okay, oops, that didn't work. One second, here we go.